Welcome, ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between. You know how we do. Grab your vices. Let's chill out and get straight to it. Um, this is episode 26 of Straightforward with Miss B, alongside my guest co-host, A.G. What's up, A.G.? Let's get straight to it. Oh, my God. You're supposed to say hello, everybody. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. Let me make sure these levels turned up a little bit. All right, we usually start off with a weekly uh, recap, but we're going to bypass that today because we are actually um, doing the YouTube Live today. I know last week we said we were going to do it sometime over the weekend, but it started raining. I didn't want to take any chances, you know, with it, you know, raining and thundering, and the power may just happen to go out. So I decided to, oh, and it was the 4th of July weekend on top of that, and people were out partying. So I wanted to just postpone it. So it's going to be today. By the time you guys hear this particular episode, um, it'll be over. But, of course, you know, just stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Straightforward with Miss B. Turn on your notifications so that you can stay updated. So whenever we go live, um, you guys can definitely chime in. So we're going to get straight to it because this is going to be a pretty short episode today. Um, so we had the shooting, um, we had those shootings, um, you know, the mass shootings things, it seems like we, we, we're doing one once a week. Um, it's happening once a week now. So we had Robert, um, I believe it's either Crimo the third, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, um, fatally killed seven people and injured over 20 plus, um, people, um, during a 4th of July parade, um, this happened in Highland Park, Illinois, um, the 21 year old suspect, um, hours later, um, luckily he was apprehended by law enforcement. Um, Crimo now has been charged with seven counts, um, and seven counts, I believe of what, murder, manslaughter, and have multiple other charges as well. So I wanted to kind of start off today just talking about this particular situation. I know that, like I said, we ha have been experiencing um, several mass shootings kind of, and they, they are happening back to back. I don't know what's going on, um, but one of the things that kind of came up, um, you know, amongst the public um, looking at the differences um, between um, how, you know, black men or black Americans are apprehended by law enforcement versus how, you know, Caucasian individuals or these Caucasian, um, you know, young adults are being apprehended. Most times we see a situation on the news, we will see the black man, um, just like the young man that got shot with 60 rounds. Um, <clears throat> we saw that situation that was definitely overkill. Um, and we see so many other situations. Um, George Floyd, um, it just seems like, it, it almost seems like there's some type of secret secret code, not secret code, but just some secret thought process when it comes to um, certain law enforcement agencies and how they treat um, black versus white. Um, so the question that I kind of had to want to start us off with today is, is there a double standard? Um, I see, I see it as a double standard. Uh, what, what, what is your initial thoughts on this, A.G.? Well, it's definitely a double standard. Um, I don't really want to call it a standard. It's just it's just the way it is, you know. Mm -hmm. They will shoot and kill a black man and say they were scared, and they will take a white man to Burger King to make sure he's properly fed before he go to jail. Uh, yeah, I forgot about so. that situation. And that's, ooh, excuse me, that's definitely, definitely um not a good thing because, you know, it just kind of continue continue with the you know separation of races um in our society when we do see things like this that happen and then you know the media definitely plays it up they you know they won't necessarily they'll maybe call them a terrorist you know a terrorist act or they may call the black man in the situation that may happen surrounding them you know as a it just is different in labeling that they give in the media as well. You can definitely see, um, <clears throat> you know, you can see how it's just kind of unfair when it comes to um, black Americans um, here. Um, 
also yeah, black man would definitely be called a gangster he's a he was he's a, a thug, thug. He's a gangster mm-hmm. and the black and the white guy he was just um he was he was mental it was he they was blaming mental. on mental. Mm-hmm. yeah that's the way they'll go with that the black guy's a thug and a gangster and the white guy had a mental problem right 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 um and then you know this situation as well um of course continue um continue the discussion surrounding um you know people having carrying weapons um especially young people being able to legally purchase weapons um some news came out the actual father um of this 21 year old his father actually i believe at one point um ran for i believe mayor of highland park if i'm not mistaken or some type of political office in highland park um the father did not win however the family is pretty well known in this community um so his father uh, mr crimo or bob as they called him um actually um they said that it was stated in the news that the father sponsored the son's application um, for a gun permit. Um, this happened in 2020, um, despite knowing the um, alleged killer had threatened to kill. Not only has he threatened to kill himself in the past, he's also threatened to kill his family. Um, and police had confiscated actually like a cache of knives. Um, the parents, however, um, and the family, of course, they claim that they were unaware of, quote, unquote, any red flags. I mean, come on now. How many more red flags do you need? The, the boy was so, he, the boy so was definitely saying, mental. So you saying he threatened to kill them and that wasn't no red flag. Right. That's what the dad said, said that there was no red where well, they was unaware or oblivious to any red flags. Like, come on now. I believe that okay. I believe that most situations, if if you're the type of parent that keeps an eye on their kids, you know, their movements, their mood changes, you know, they might start dressing differently or maybe spending more time locked up in their room alone or not speaking as much or not, you know what I mean? Or not being as joyful and, um, you know, and like to kid around and stuff like that. Most times parents who, like I said, pay close attention to their kids, they can see when there has been a change, um, you know, a change in a person, in their kids. So for, for the dad to just say, you know, they didn't notice anything. Like, come on, he if he's already tried to threaten you, the family, your wife, and himself, he wanted to kill everybody. He he let yeah. y'all know. I mean, what what was what? I wonder what was they thinking? Oh, he just joking around, or you know, <laughs> like what was the case? I I don't get it. Yeah, he ain't tell the whole story when he slapped his ass and. Mm-hmm. And the mama got them pent up against the wall, told her bitch to shut up. Right. They ain't telling the whole story. They just said he threatened to kill us. Right, definitely. He what he did, though. <laughs> right. And I remember looking at it when it first happened. And of course, you know, they're going to, uh, the media is going to be quick to try to locate, you know, and um, law enforcement want to locate any other family members. So the brother, the uncle rather, um, he did a, uh, interview with one of the news outlets up there and he also had stated this was before the parents came out and made any statements the uncle I believe was just you know speaking on behalf of the family at the moment um he also stated that no we didn't we didn't see anything you know we hadn't really noticed anything happening to him he's he's such a good kid and yeah, hey, you know shoot his ass in front of everybody on national tv right like, come on now, you can see, and then, you know, I don't know if you had a chance to check out, well, YouTube has already deleted his channel, he had, um, he was supposed to be this rapper, um, his name was Awake, Awake the Rapper, I believe, and he had a YouTube channel, I did happen to see, like, a couple of clips of, um, music videos that he'd done, so he was, like, really on that emo type of stuff, um, in his videos, he also depicted images of, you know, a person carrying, you know, firearms and basically, you know, out in the public and shooting and you saw like dead bodies on the ground with blood 
squirting out and everything. So it's like even in his music, if the parents was really paying attention, it's right there in front of your face. Right. Like there is no way they could not have noticed that. You know they noticed it, but now it's not the time to say that you noticed it. You know, that's the same way. <laughs> you know. What well, I'm yeah, about. I guess. I I mean, yeah, I that's guess. The but then once the you know once they go to trial, if they go to trial, and all of that, you know, all of this information to come, you know, all of this information will come out because you know the social media was on it quick. I came across somebody's page and they was like, it was like a, a wake the rapper, a crime old, not a fan page, but just a page kind of keeping you updated. You know what I'm saying? On what's going on on Instagram. Right. They had, that's why I saw the uh, mu- music videos at and stuff like that. And his pictures, um, they had all, you know, all this information. So, you know, internet, internet investigators, <laughs> they be on it, man. <laughs> they figured out. <clears throat> they figured out who that dude was quick and pulled all his information. Right. Okay, are oh. you with me today? Yes, I'm with you today. Okay, well, you're not talking. <laughs> yeah, so um, like I said, he's mental. He had a mental condition and none of his folks knew anything about it. So um, what are we going to do? How can we come past this? Um, with it happening every week and so often. Well, I mean, of course, you know, I guess the more mass shootings that happen, hopefully, um, government, the White House, the lawmakers, um, you know, can definitely move fast on, you know, making some changes to laws, definitely you know, gun laws for sure. And I think they've already in the process of doing that. Um, but it's just not happening. Yeah. It's not happening quick enough, you know, and it's not the right type of law, but even if laws, I was thinking about it one day, even if, you know, the laws pass and everything, people still will have access to firearms. You know, there's so many underground, you know, people that sell them illegally. So what I was thinking, instead of changing the law as far as the gun, mm-hmm. we need to change the punishment. Mm, okay. Yeah, the punishment, if you do some shit like that, well, that's how you're going to die. So Fire you think the gone. punishment is automatic death for mass shootings? Is that what of you're saying? Of course, yes. Okay. And it needs to be some shit on public display. Oh, wow. you trying to take us to back to it? the 18th century. Pay-per-view then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. You know, instead of taking those people, putting them in prison, paying for them, how much it costs for a prisoner a year? Thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year? In taxpayers' the money. Then you you went to trial and spent $200,000 in trial before you went to prison. Mm. Yeah, we're going to we gonna nip this one in the bud. Right. We gonna give you uh, what you say a uh, speedy trial. No, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna speed this motherfucker up. <laughs> Rapid pace, goddamn. Right, right. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the only way. Um, again, you know, like we always say, everybody need to get out there and vote. Your vote does count. People need to stop being lazy. Vote your for your you know your favorite. Um, local politicians, the one that, you know, is, um, you know, on the same, having the same thought press and trying to make positive changes to the community that you believe in, you know, get out and vote for those individuals. I mean, that's where, that's where we kind of have to start, you know? Right. Um, Speaking of another shooting as well, um, Eric Holder Jr. um, has been convicted a first degree murder in the death of rapper Nipsey Hussle. Um, Nipsey Hussle, um, unfortunately, uh, was shot and killed in front of his marathon store out in, um, I believe it's in Compton, LA. Um, a couple of years ago, um, I was a Nipsey Hussle fan um, as far as his music go. Um, I like the way his thought process around, you know, just trying to inspire others to, 
you know, be entrepreneurs and um, get out there and start businesses. And, you know, he was just a very motivational um, person. He was, of course, um, not an act. Well, I don't know if he was active or not, but I don't think he was an active member of a gang, but he was a part of a um, gang in L.A. as well. Um, <clears throat> but luckily, you know, his environment did not stop him from, you know, just achieving some great things, um, in his lifetime. Um, so Eric Holder, you know, unfortunately took that man life and now he is, um, basically, you know, he's about to keep sitting down <laughs> behind bars. So I'm surprised ain't nobody already took care of that though, isn't there? You know? Well, they did beat him up this last week. Did you see the pictures of him with the swollen eye and all, knots on his forehead? Oh, that was him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, they trying to get him in there. They they definitely trying, so he probably won't be lasting that long. Yeah, they supposed to take care of that up in there. He ain't supposed, supposed to make it to prison. Right. Mm -hmm. If they love him like they say they love Nipsey Hussle. Right. Right. Um, speaking of, because we want to try to stretch this out to at least a couple of more minutes here. I don't want it to be too short of a podcast. Want to give people something still to hear. Um, did you see that video? Um, and we'll talk about this further um, on the YouTube live. But you saw that video um, that came out today of those, um, you know, city girls young city girls um in their restaurant and they trashed the restaurant and attacked the the workers only because um they wanted to charge them a dollar 75 for some extra sauce the real i ain't seen that <laughs> the real city girl jt no not the real city girl i'm talking about the ghetto hood city girls <laughs> oh, hell. No, these like some regular little teenage girls. They might have been, you know, in their early twenties. But yeah, it's it's a wild video. I mean, they trashed that restaurant. They trashed the restaurant. Um, they said that they stole money. I guess at the cash register, they done attacked and you know assaulted one of the workers, um, just because they didn't want to pay a dollar seventy five for some extra sauce. Mm. Wow. <laughs> The girl, it seems like the women the these days, these girls are crazy. Haven't you oh, noticed yeah, the, that? Yeah, the girls fight more than the guys right now. That's crazy. Yeah, they body body. They, you know why? Cause they on them the ones that be on them pills. It's more females on them pills mm -hmm. than them guys. If you ask me, you think so? They love them pills. Perk thirties and, and what else they be weed. taking? Xanax and. Yeah, Lord Tabs. Then they got Adderall. Some they got some other shit that we ain't never heard of. They be taking too. Colossals. Colossals. They got so many pills. Oh, child. I never heard of those. Yeah, they got them, man. What do you think we what do you think we went wrong? Just as you know. Spared the rod. Not enough beatings at home when they was young. Yeah, because I, I mean, I look at it and I'm embarrassed to say those are our kids. You know? Right. They are our kids, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, there ain't no grandparents in this shit no more. Yeah, and it used to be, what's the saying? It takes a village to raise a child. Well, the, the village been gone. Oh, yeah, the village is, is flooded. <laughs> and, and floated away. It's wiped out. Yeah, so all that got something to do with it, and mm -hmm. and the social media, the games, playing the video games, right? Yeah, all that stuff. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. And then when they glorify it on the rap music, and that's all they listening to, and mm -hmm. you know, and nowadays if you're using cocaine, snowing it, man, you don't know, you don't know what you're taking for real. Yeah. You be you got that fentanyl they showed you mixed that up in there. Pete Valley this last episode. <laughs> oh, I don't watch Pete Valley. They also thought he was snow, snow some cocaine. He was snow and fentanyl, and they put him to sleep. Oh wow! Oh yeah. So that's the reason why you see all these people dying suddenly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And then you don't even know if somebody tried to do it. You know, it's just an overdose. Uh, so if you want to knock sad. somebody off it and they, and they doing that, you can get them real easy. Speaking of that, there was another video that I saw where it was a young girl in a high school bathroom, and she was in the bathroom snowing powder. Her friend had the camera recording her, and she's like, you finna do that on, you know, you finna do that on live, on the video? You know, I'm, I'm recording you. And she was like, I don't care. She had a little, the girl, she was sitting on the toilet, and you know the little, um, you know, like some bathrooms have like those little metal trash cans that's kind of attached to the, you know, the wall like on the yeah. side near the mm-hmm. toilet. She set her little uh, carrying case or whatever you want to call it, and compact, and she put it on top of there. She opened it up. She had, she had sprinkled some powder on top of the the little metal trash can thing, and she she had a little um. She had a razor blade, and she split her lines up, and she just, she was like, I don't care. And she just, and she she looked like she was probably maybe 15 years old. It was just a sad sight to see. Yeah. Well, I know I went to high school with some guys, and we was 14 and 15. They was already snowing. They came to high school already snowing. Mm. So, that ain't nothing new to me. Yeah, but I mean, you at like it ain't new to you, but somebody got to care at some point. That's your product of your environment. Now, when you go home and that's what they're doing, hey, that's where that's where you get it. You just bought the school because you need your son at school now. Right. Yeah. Well, we need to start caring for our kids um, because it's clearly out of control. It's way out of control. I know that kids, you know, unfortunately, they go through a lot even at, in their homes. You know what I'm saying? Their households, they have to deal with abuse. They have to do whether it's mental or physical abuse, sexual assault, um, just can't communicate maybe with their parents. It's a lot that kids go through. School is stressful. Um, so they do turn to alcohol, drugs, you know, weed, cigarettes, as an escape, you know, uh, like that show that, you know, that show, uh, what is it called? Euphoria. That's a real thing amongst right. these high, high school kids, middle school, high school kids, some places, elementary school. Um, so we definitely, as a society, I believe, need to, we got to come up with something because they're, they're, they're the next generation. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the ones that got to keep the world Pumping and going, you know? Yeah, half of them ain't going to be here. Right. Not going at that route at all. So we're going to go ahead and end this here, you guys. Um, Like I said, we have a YouTube Live that's about to happen in about 15 minutes, and I need to do some last-minute things. We do apologize for this short episode um, um, this week. Hopefully the YouTube live, I'm trying to figure, this is my first time. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it, the audio and everything recorded. That way I could still, you know, upload the audio to the live, um, to the uh, podcast streaming platforms. So hopefully I will be able to figure that out tonight. Um, however, we will see you guys again next week. Um, same time, and, um, do you want to say bye before we go? I love y'all. I really do. And I can't wait to the next episode to talk to you guys again. All right. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at STR, the number eight, FWD, MSB, and also, you know, Subscribe to our podcast channels on your favorite podcast, Spotify, Apple, Google, Stitcher, Audible. We're in all those places. And until next time.